In Washington state, I just don't see that being feasible. Taking care of your yard may become more difficult. A proposed bill has been filed for the upcoming legislative session, calls for a ban on gas-powered lawnmowers, chainsaws, and more. Washington Representative Amy Whalen of Bellevue is proposing the ban on gas-powered outdoor equipment as part of an effort to go green. Our 4 News Now's Allison Martinez has the story. When searching for outdoor equipment, Spokane Power Tool is a go-to. Today I spoke to the owner who tells me this industry could face major challenges if this bill passes. Lower cost and higher efficiency are two main reasons why many people prefer gas tools. House Bill 1868 would give you no choice but to go electric. It would definitely take more time. There would be struggles finishing a uh, task uh, with a battery one because of the fact that you'd be changing out those batteries. The bill states that gas and diesel outdoor tools emit air pollutants that add to climate change and impact health. The bill cites a study from the Environmental Protection Agency that says one hour of a gas lawnmower can contribute as much pollution as driving a car 300 miles. Christensen says a major change like this is just not realistic in Washington state. In uh, eastern Washington here, we get a lot of snow and trying to tackle, you know, large amounts of snow with a battery operated uh, um, snowblower could be quite difficult. Um, you'd have to have a whole bucket of batteries to get through it. The bill would incentivize the transition with temporary sales and use tax relief and a grant program. Um, the industry has answered with a lot of uh, battery equipment, but it just is is not going to answer all the needs of the landscapers, professionals. Spokane Power Tools has been selling gas products for 50 years. Christensen says if this bill does pass, difficulties would follow for his business and others. There would be some challenges uh, surrounding that and we'll have to wait and see and then we would address it at, uh, when it comes. If passed, this law would ban gas and diesel equipment from being produced after 2026 or sooner. Reporting in Spokane, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now.